Hey everybody, all my mountain friends, how's everybody doing today? Y'all, the holidays are coming up and I've been getting people uh, messaging me asking about how I make cornbread dressing. And I do have an older video that I posted about a year ago uh, making cornbread dressing and it's way down on the page, but I thought I would do a new one for y'all. And this one's a little different. It's cornbread dressing, but I'm adding chicken to it. So it's chicken and cornbread dressing. Uh, a lot of people do uh, both. They'll do cornbread dressing and sometimes they'll add chicken to it. And my family loves chicken added to theirs too. And we're just all big fans of cornbread dressing, y'all. So I've already got my oven preheated to 375. I'm going to be baking this in a cast iron skillet because I like that good crispy edge. I want it moist in the middle and not dry, but I want a good crispy edge. So I want to show you guys how to do it. Now I've already made ahead of time my cornbread. I got a cornbread recipe posted uh, and you guys can check that out. And I've already got it crumbled up and it's kind of cooled off. So you're going to need a recipe for uh, cornbread and, and you're going to set that aside. And I'm just going to show you all what all you're going to need. You're going to need about four cups of chicken and I've got mine already uh, shredded up. And you're gonna need an egg. You're gonna need a half a cup of melted butter plus another uh, stick of butter, okay? So it's gonna be a total of a stick and a half of butter. And I'll show you uh, well, how you're gonna, where you're gonna use that at. You're gonna need about two cups of chicken stock, okay? You want stock instead of broth. And you're gonna need a can of cream of chicken soup. And you're gonna need some salt and pepper, which you won't need probably a lot of salt because of the stock and everything that's in this, but you're gonna need some black pepper and some poultry seasoning. And um, the seasoning is according to your liking. Um, I'm gonna do probably about maybe a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half in this recipe, not a big lot. I like poultry seasoning because it already has a sage, thyme, and all that in it. Um, a little bit of rosemary. Uh, if you want to just do sage by itself, you can do that too. And you're going to need about three stalks of celery chopped up and a medium onion chopped up. And you want to saute that. And I've already done this ahead of time, but I will be showing y'all how I did it. And so, and this is where I got the other stick of butter. I put a stick of butter in here and I'll be showing you all the video uh, how I did this. So let's get started. We'll put it all together and it's going to be some good eating guys so we're going to get started on our chicken and cornbread dressing you'll need a skillet of cornbread and i already made mine ahead of time i do have a recipe for that it's under the photo section at the top of my page in the photo albums uh there's a picture of cornbread there with the recipe right on it that says uh Missy's Country Cornbread, this is how I make mine. And so you'll need to make that ahead of time. Now I got about a medium onion chopped up and about three stalks of celery chopped up. And I got a stick of salted butter here. You can use unsalted too. Uh, I prefer salted uh, in my skillet and I'm gonna add my onion and my celery here in the butter and I'm gonna saute it. So what you want to do is you want to cook, saute your onion and your celery until they're um, kind of translucent. They get tender and the butter's going to get a little foamy. And I like to go ahead and add my seasoning in because I think it brings out the seasoning while you're cooking it. I'm doing about a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. I like poultry seasoning because it got it has sage, it has thyme, all that good uh flavor and uh, I like to add about a teaspoon of black pepper and you just want to stir probably do it for about five minutes on about a medium heat until the uh, vegetables are tender so I'm going to chop up my cornbread and I use one of these uh, meat choppers for that you want to chop it up really good and if you want to you can add a few old like day old biscuits or if you want two or three biscuits in there 
I'm not going to, I'm just going to use my cornbread. Okay, so now we're going to put it all together. Uh, I've already got my cornbread ready. I want to put my celery and my onion right down in here in my bowl. Now, I like using butter in this recipe too, just gives it extra richness. It's always so good. I love to do, I love butter. Y'all know that, so. Now I will be adjusting some more seasoning here. I want, if you add too much, then it can be a little overpowering. So that's why I only did about a teaspoon in the vegetables to start with. So I already smell it really good. I want to pour in my stock. I'm going to pour in my extra half a stick of melted butter. My egg. And I'm using a good old farm fresh egg, them brown eggs. I grew up. I grew up having to go get our eggs before we went to school. We had a chicken coop behind the house. And, um, but nowadays people just, I mean, I guess I didn't know what, uh, I didn't know how to appreciate some things at growing up. I mean, we, uh, we grew a lot of our stuff and our food and we raised chickens and hogs. And, uh, I used to hate to have to go get chickens. I mean, go get eggs in the morning before I went to school. I used to think it was awful, but I don't have chickens now. I wish I did. One of these days I'm going to. But my husband knows a man that um, has chickens, and we get local uh, farm fresh uh, eggs from him. So you want to stir that up and see it's going to be kind of gloppy or soupy, and that's what you want. I want to add my cream of chicken soup. Now, now, my Aunt Patty made the best chicken, made the best dressing. Now, sometimes she'd put turkey, like when she would, like at Thanksgiving and stuff, she would put, um, some people used to put giblets in theirs. I don't like giblets in mine. Uh, but she'd put like turkey in hers instead of chicken. You could do that. I want to do just an extra sprinkle of some black pepper right on top. I want to add my chicken. I want to give it a stir. Mm. Smells good, y'all. Baking it in a cast iron skillet, I think, to me, makes a difference. If you don't have one, that's all right. I just like the good crispy edges. Now, I'm just going to see how it just all comes together like it right there and it's not too, you don't want it real dry because it, I mean, you don't want it dry at all and you don't want it too wet either. Now I'm gonna just taste a little bit I think it needs just a little more seasoning. So I am adding about a half teaspoon more of the poultry season. And I think that's all it needs. Now, if you want it a little wetter, you could add maybe about a half a cup more of uh, stock if you wanted, or broth if you got either. It don't really, I mean, it's up to you. I think stock has richer flavor. But um, if you wanted a little uh, moisture, you can do that. Add about a half a cup more. Now, I wanna put it in my skillet. Turn my phone around where you guys can see. And this is a 12 inch cast iron skillet. Uh, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, a nine by 13 uh, pan will do too. And this is greased. I put just a little, uh, I put a little bit of uh, cooking oil on the bottom. You can do butter too if you want it. And I'm just going to dump that out. Look at that. My husband loves dressing with cranberry sauce. And I do too, I think it's really good. So you just wanna spread it out. And see if you do that right there, it's kind of looks like cement maybe. 
um, it's still a little wet and you can see some of the moisture in it, that's good. It shouldn't be too dry. So, all right, so it's going in the oven. I got my oven preheated to 375. Uh, it's gonna bake probably about an hour because you want it good and done. You want it crispy on the edges. You wanna over bake it, but I'll check it after about 45 minutes. And if it starts getting too brown, I'll just take it out. But it'll be so good, y'all. So about 45 minutes to an hour. All right, y'all, look at there. Look yonder. The chicken and dressing is done. Mmm, got some good crispy edges. And it is. I can tell it's still fluffy in the middle a little bit. So, mm mm mm. It's gonna be some good stuff. All right, y'all, look at there. Look here. I got daddy a plate made, made him some green beans and mashed taters, and he likes cranberry sauce with his dressing. I do. It's the only way to eat dressing. Yeah. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. Steam still She's coming hot. off of it. Burn the hair off your tongue. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for this food. Amen. Yeah, that's getting a little bit of. A little early Thanksgiving taste. God, I love your dressing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit, him and Kenzie both love dressing. I do. I could eat it every day. <laughs> well, I, your dressing. My dressing, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's good right here. <laughs> right here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Yeah, I ain't make fun of you, baby. <laughs> now that's good old homemade cornbread dressing, mm. right? Of uh, cornbread, not no yeah. box stove top or nothing. That's just how that's how I was raised to make it. That's good stuff. Yeah, I've eaten some of that old box stuff. This is this is yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. So there you go. The holidays are coming up. There you go. That's how I make cornbread dressing and chicken. I put some chicken in it. Mm. And make your man smile. Yeah, make my man <laughs> smile. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy. It's good eating. It's good eating. <laughs>